This is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. President Joe Biden has said that the high inflation in the U.S. is due to COVID-19. The U.S. president further said his administration is working on supply chain issue this year as a means of lowering inflation. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has said that anti-Israel politicians have overpowered pro-Israel legislators in Congress. Mr. Trump grieved over that Israel had such power and rightfully but not anymore due to the presence of progressive Democratic women of color in Congress. U.S. Democrat and ex-cop Eric Adams has been elected New York's next mayor. He will become just the second African-American to lead the United States' largest city. At least 19 people have been killed and 50 others wounded in an attack on a military hospital in Afghanistan. The attack got underway when a suicide bomber detonated his explosives near the entrance of Sardar Muhammad Daud Khan Military Hospital in Kabul. The meeting between India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his British counterpart got concluded with India's concern over Khalistan activists who operate from Britain and Khalistan referendum campaign across the UK. India said that Sikhs for Justice is a terrorist organization and is banned in India. France has barred a campaign launched by the Council of Europe against anti-Muslim hate speech. The Minister of State for Youth and Engagement said that the campaign is against the values of France as wearing a headscarf is encouraged in the campaign's video. Yemen became the fifth Arab country to recall its Lebanese ambassador because of diplomatic tension between Beirut and Riyadh. The move is in protest of Kordahi's comments about the Saudi-led military campaign in Yemen. Ethiopia's cabinet has declared a nationwide state of emergency. The announcement came after Tigray rebels said they are gaining territory and considering marching on the capital Addis Ababa. Up next we have the national updates. The first Chinese-made 054 Alpha guided missile frigate PNS Tobral is set to be commissioned in the Pakistan Navy next week. 054 Alpha guided missile frigate has excellent communication, sonar system, heli landing and hangar. Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Climate Change has met U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of COP26 Global Climate Conference in Glasgow. The U.S. President thanked Prime Minister Imran Khan for committing to the Washington-led Global Methane Pledge. National Security Advisor of Uzbekistan has called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad. Prime Minister emphasized on further strengthening of bilateral cooperation in all the areas including economy, trade, investment, energy, security and education sectors. Federal Minister for Information and Broadcasting Fawad Chaudhry has advised Chairman Pakistan People's Party Bilawal Bhutto Zardari to hold protest in front of the Chief Minister's house against inflation. The Information Minister maintained that there is need to improve the governance in Sindh as there is difference in prices of basic necessities between Punjab and Sindh. Pakistani and Afghan authorities reopened the Chaman border after nearly a month. Both countries were deprived of millions of rupees of customs duty and other taxes due to the border closure for 27 days. Four suspected terrorists of a banned outfit were killed in an operation by the Counterterrorism Department in Hangu. The CTD official said that the deceased terrorists belonged to the banned Tehrike Taliban Pakistan. The National Electric Power Regulatory Authority has disclosed that Pakistan has not commissioned wind and solar power in the last 12 months. Pakistan is now focusing more on generating electricity through hydropower instead of wind and solar power. It is targeting 60% renewable energy capacity instead of 30% renewable energy generation. Up next we have the health updates. Suicides in the United States decreased by 3% from year 2019 to 2020. However, the National Center for Health Statistics show that suicide rates increased from non-Hispanic Black, non-Hispanic American Indian, and Alaska Native and Hispanic men. Nearly 30,000 people in Madagascar are in grips of the world's only famine driven by climate change. The UN's World Food Program said that more than 1.3 million people are considered to be in a food security emergency in the drought-stricken nation. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. World Jellyfish Day is being observed today all over the world. According to the WWF Pakistan, increase in jellyfish population has been reported about 16 times in a very short period in Pakistan. Around 15 to 20 species of jellyfish are found in Pakistan. 
Facebook is shutting down its facial recognition system and deleting a billion face prints which automatically identifies users in photos and videos. The announcement comes as Facebook has been under intense scrutiny from regulators and the tech industry has faced a reckoning over the past few years over the ethics of using the technology. Up next we have the sports updates. Pakistan has officially become the first team to qualify for the semi-finals of the 2021 T20 World Cup after defeating Namibia. This was Pakistan's fourth consecutive victory in the tournament. Two-time T20 World Cup winning captain Darren Sammy has become a target of racial abuse by Indian cricket fans. Indians angered after his light-hearted tweet about India's embarrassing loss to New Zealand. England's limited overs captain Ian Morgan became the most successful captain in T21 history. Morgan led England to their 43rd victory under his leadership after defeating Sri Lanka in the 2021 T20 World Cup. Up next we have the entertainment updates. The new action movie Eternals features several milestones for Walt Disney's blockbuster Marvel Universe including first Pakistani superhero. With Angelina Jolie and Salma Hayek, Pakistani-American actor Kumail Nanjiani portraying Kingo and is the first South Asian hero in a Marvel movie. Police in India's Mumbai stopped fans from gathering outside the house of Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan for his birthday. The police claimed that they had a message for the fans from Shah Rukh Khan's manager that the star is at his farmhouse in Alibagh with his family. 